Hi everyone, my name is Shay and I'm a dietitian here at Active Health Clinic and I'm jumping on today so you can learn a little bit about me and if you've, if you've seen me in the past or if you're planning to book in with me, I will get to know you quite well but I also think it's important for you to know a little bit about me and that's why we're here today. So as you know, I'm a dietitian and I'm going to go into why I became a dietitian. So for me, this starts back in my childhood. So when I was quite young, I think I was about five, I was diagnosed with leukemia, so a type of cancer. And for me, that's kind of like fueled my path in life. And during that time, I knew that I wanted to give back to others and help other people who were who were experiencing some sort of like health conditions or issues. Um, initially, I thought I was going to be a doctor and then I changed my mind and decided, nope, I'm going to become a dietitian. But it was didn't really matter what area I was going to go into as long as I was helping other people through their health journey. That's what was most important to me. So during high school is when I discovered that I had an interest in nutrition. So health and human development back when I was in high school, a long time ago. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, in that subject, out of everything I, could, I was learning, just that nutrition portion, I thought, wow, this is really interesting and fascinating how your body interacts with food um, so integ integrally, is that a word? Um, and so then I thought, hey, can I do this at uni? And the answer is yes, you can do this at uni. So I went down and did my Bachelor of Food and Nutrition Science and during that degree I figured out I needed to become a dietitian to work with people individually in the way that I wanted and I absolutely loved the whole course. My favourite part of the Bachelor as well was that diet and disease link which is kind of what I discovered in high school and yeah so that led me to becoming a dietitian and I Another part of that is that I really love food <laughs> and I enjoy all aspects of food. I love, I love cooking, I love going out to eat, but I also completely understand that that is not the case for every person. And that's part of my job as a dietitian is to help people kind of either find the, find the enjoyment with food or remove that kind of the difficulty that can come along with food. And I'm really passionate about helping people on that journey and their relationship with food. If you can tell, I have some avocado lanyard here. That is one of my favorite foods. <laughs> Very dietitian of me. Um, but going a bit more into invisible illness specifically. So I'm at Active Health Clinic because uh, invisible illness is a really fascinating space and it's something that isn't widely covered by dietitians. And something that's really important to me is that everyone has access to healthcare and the care that they need. So for me, this is a space where I feel like I can make a difference and make sure that everyone's getting the type of care that they need, which should be easy to get good quality care, but it's not always the case. And I appreciate as well that uh, the patients who come through here as well can have a complex health, a complex health picture and I'm really, um, I find it really important that I can, and a challenge that I'm happy to take on to, you know, navigate that with you and help in the best way that I can. And it's really important for me that my patients feel understood, heard and seen. Um, my other area of interest as well is eating disorders. So that can sometimes be part of that, that kind of complex overall health issue and the relationship with food is something I'm really um, passionate about navigating as well with my patients. Going on to a little bit out of the dietitian realm of things, the something to know about me, some fun facts. I have a cat so when I'm not at work I'll be at home with my cat Lena. There is a whole other story connected to how I got her and the journey we've been on so if you're coming to see me feel free to ask about that. But yeah, she's great. <laughs> and I'm also a dancer, so I've danced since a young age as well and done every style of dance. The only thing I don't do is tap dancing just because 
can't handle the noise <laughs> and yeah but otherwise absolutely love dancing done it my whole life I'm currently doing more aerial things so things like trapeze and hoops that's kind of like my not new but kind of where I'm at now with dancing um, but otherwise I'd say like hip-hop is my other like kind of passion area of dancing and if I'm going to be winding down I love spending time at the beach I'm really fortunate to live in Bayside near the beach so if I ever need some space or just to recharge I'll be down the beach either swimming on the sand if I could live anywhere else I would definitely be living on an island so yeah thank you for watching that's about me and I'm really looking forward to meeting you hopefully and 